creeping and trying his best to be a pain in the ass. There's tried to go, and there's our answer. I guess will cancel the charge. That's, that's what I thought. That's but right. I'll bash one. Okay, oh. then RNG says it doesn't matter. I find a way. And Fluff does end up going down. Milan will lose his life shortly after, but he was out for a mission, and I guess it's mission beyond the map. Or he's getting ganked, because he gets bopped in the face there. The Ooh. Iron Shell damage burns on through. They got the surge. They got the kill? Are they going to get Bambo down? They certainly will. Okay, Elements Gaming come to play, certainly yeah. in this top lane. I think in that position, you just go for the TP. There's Bambo helps block. He hides into a corner. Will oh this tree God. closet be enough? No, no, he runs out. They spot him. Charges there, and the Sand King goes down. Yeah, and uh, they wanted to definitely secure that Sand King kill, but there's a chance they could have even gotten Nature's Prophet under tower with that charge, and Bambo will just slip away and heal back to full before using his... Playing on RNG a bit himself, but also this bottle to sustain him, his mana and keep that int steal going. Because if he can get uh, a lot of intelligence steal, piece by piece he can do a lot. But in the meantime, Mitch actually uh, should be the one to going down yep. this time around. They snipe him right there at the end. Uh, Dark Seer a little far out on his own. They know the Spirit Breaker is not going to be by his side. It looks like Bambo had made the rotation up there when it was available, and they punished him. Sing Sing will obviously let that this game, so no matter what his farm is, it might change his Aghanim's timing later down the road, but right now he's at the same power level you'd expect. Yep. Top lane. Fluff tries to glimpse back the Spirit Breaker, but that will not stop Mitch from getting the job done. But here comes 33 with his first epicenter of the game. Will help Shrek right through that little Darseer. Milan goes for the TP and will be able to make it out. No way to stop him on that one, and it turns into oh, he's a bit stuck. Looks like he will be able to oh, nice do his way on usage. through, but he's still caught between some un unforgiving Kaipi members, and they will be able to bring him back and bring him down. Four to four, we even things up. Yep. Uh, they had in a five now, thanks to his tome, but uh, but much more importantly, he needs to get some some gold. Uh, he might not be able to hold on to a lot if he gets taken down here. He goes down fast with the help of the surge and iron shell coming out. They quickly just bulldoze in the life stealer and take down that little fluff of the plus one tower. If uh, things go well here for Kaipi. There's They're going to get the stun. They yeah. do get the connection here for Mitch. And they silence him up here. Oh my. It will be enough. Thunderstrike helps maintain the vision. And they will be able to take him down. And it looks like they'll move in for the tier one. All the meanwhile elements will be missing as well. Bone 7 almost walks into that arrow. Milan gets close enough. Does manage to get the Nether Strike off onto Bone 7. And with the help of the burst, they won't be able to bring down the Little Drow Ranger. They set course for Fluff. They get him too. Big Epi flies forward from 3 3 and will help get at least one response kill. But it's only for the Spirit Breaker while they're about to lose Sing. He drops down the Odi Ulti, but it's not going to be nearly enough. Kai P crumbling apart here. 33, one of the last survivors, is going to be going down there at the end. Bambo will be the only one to live on to tell the tale. And the I can't believe it. Helps create the space and Bambo, thankful as ever, trying to run between the trees. Oh, he tries to chew his way on through, but eventually they will be able to make the catch-up play and get it done. But it looks like it could cost Milan's life here. He gets stunned up from the burrow and between three, really doesn't have a whole lot of options here to make it away from trouble. And it looks like it will be 3-3 three, three who does pick up the last hit. 10-7 to seven now. Elman's still kind of dictating where the fights are. Small things where it's like, yeah, you're feeding an Observer Ward, but it doesn't actually work out that way. Instead, it's going to be Fluff, who eats another death. This time, he does have the ultimate, but it connects on absolutely nothing. And that is quite unfortunate, as Gogi now gets macked up. Gets enough time to leap away. Just one second. Not again. enough, and Milan's here and says, don't go any further, as he makes his own advancement right for Bone 7. Bone, not going to be able to make it away. Blast comes forward, not going to be enough to get the, the finish, but it doesn't matter. Arrow connection on the sexy Bambo. And he is out of there. 33. See you later, buddy. Looks like he'll be going down next as they do get chased. Mitch is going to be right on his tail and take him apart. Sing, sing. Forced to try and make it back inside. Forced to drop a hammer, but it lands onto his own foot. And he gets going as well. Four for one trade. Elements on the up and up in game number one. Can get punished so heavily, especially now that the Marana has the Aghanim Scepter. And those Star Storms are coming out twofold. They do find the Coddle. He will tank the gank. Not the worst thing ever there for Elements, but Kaipi are happy to kind of make an assertive movement into the Elements jungle and at least walk away with something. Yeah, and that might turn into Roshan, as again, yep. they have a lot of physical damage. The pure damage is actually really good here from Sing Sing. Just spams the Arcane Orb out, and it looks like they will be able to clean this one up, but an arrow hits onto no, a creep, but even still, the, the Dark Seer is looking for an opening. Look who's waiting up north here. Milan looks to charge, and he's got an Infest Bomb. Bambo might not have been expecting that one to come in from the north, and he does get hit and taken down. Now they look for Sing, vacuum back inside the wall. Self Astral keeps him alive, while the mighty 3-3 jumps in from above. He's up in the rafters, hitting him down with the epicenter. Is it going to be enough firepower? It does not seem like it. 
but Bone, meanwhile, chucks off enough damage is going to be able to bring down the Marana, but here comes the second round from Milan and company. Him and Mitch tag team onto Bone 7. Bumped him to the high ground in a safe spot for now. Goes for the TP and won't be able to make it out safely. Oh! He's good and gone. 1 HP. Barely makes it he away. He 1 HP. LeBron moves in next. Tries to go for Bambo. Gets him with a mana leak. Glimpse back. Whoop. And, uh, well, he makes it out. Back safely. Fluff in the Roche pit. He TPs out too. That could have been a lot worse for Kai P, Absolutely but it's Elements who actually get the bad end of it. Absolutely could have. Uh, I'd still, the Nature Prophet did uh, buy back and jump back in with the teleport. That's off a gust. Gets hit with his own blinding light. Limps pull back. It's a bit awkward here. They're trying to get a hold of Milan. The oh! oh! There from the back. You pull back into a blast and a wall combo. Very good coming out from Elements here. Forces Kaipi all the way back and away. Milan looking to make chase. Gets the grab for Sing. Sing though drops down the hammer. Is going to be able to get the finish onto the Mighty Cow. Still trying to run, not going to be able to make it away. They have the vision, they have the chase, and it looks like Fluff could be next. Just barely making it into the base, but the open wounds is there. A double kill for LeBron on the coddle, as Kaipi will lose three all day, only losing the spear. Oh, casually farming Sexy Bambo in the woods, gets spotted out by Milan and company, and I don't think he's going to be surviving. He goes down, thinking that most of the aggression was there on the other side of the map, but Elements show them that they can get the... Kaipi may not have the biggest answer, but he's tempted. Go in there, choke it's point. So dangerous. Sta choke point static storm could be big. Drops it right on top of Roche. A vacuum wall, though, and it happens all outside of the action inside the pit. So they're going to quickly take down 3 3. They're going to quickly take down Fluff. And now with advantage in numbers of 5 versus 3, Elements really have no problem finish having here from Elements on the lower ground. Good work. Trying to get some good damage here onto the Life Stealer, but it's not going to be enough. Oh! Oh, man. Blasted down. Fluff is gone. Swift ending is going to be able to walk away. On the second, forced to be glyphed up here by KP. And now they might think about making the move. Oh! So vacuum pullback as Milan charges in. Kinetic field is going to be dropped, but they already kind of hit with some strong brute force. Finishing off Bambo. A blinding light will separate him back and away as they finish out the other racks. Elements walk away with a big win on this one. 33 says, don't go too far. Tries to jump with a burrow strike. Could be his own demise, but they do get an astral to try to help him out. Courtesy of Sing Sing. And Elements say, you want to scramble, we'll get right back into it. Hop back into the base, Kaipi double back. And it looks like they might have to just let this one go. Or not. Glimpse all the way. They grab a hold of Little Keeper of the Light here, and they will be able to burst him down. Sing Sing does the job. And now, as he able to get the follow-up finish, gets a self-astral here. As that happens, though, Mitch, though, on the warpath to come back. Him and Gogi say, you're going to take a couple of our guys. We're going to make sure you oh. pay for it now. Air on a fly connection, and they will be able to get the follow-up takedown of Bone. Triple kill for Gogi. It's elements all day. And through all of that, they didn't even break the Aegis of the Lifesteader, man. Like, just being able to armlet toggle against heroes and players that don't want to commit too much on him because it's only his first life, he's able to just play at that low health threshold.